Hi everybody, Chuck here with Jenkins Boat Works, and uh, I've been thinking about this video for a little while, uh, and it's going to be a little bit different than normal. I don't have a whole lot of progress on the boat to show you today. Uh, we have been working quite a bit trying to get the new shop set up, and currently I'm in my old garage here with the boat and most of the tools, and some of the tools are getting moved up there, so every once in a while it's like, uh, where is that? Uh, I gotta go all the way up the hill and go get this or come back down here and get that. Uh, but anyway, we're getting some workbenches made and actually uh, we'll take a little tour of the new shop here in just a few minutes and uh, look at some of the work that we're getting done up there. But part of what I wanted to, uh, to talk about today is, uh, first of all, we hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube so thank you all very much for subscribing and watching the videos and uh, I, I never really set out doing these videos to achieve a, a large viewership. That's never been uh, my aim or goal. It has always been about I'm building this boat and I didn't find a lot of resources when I started and so I've tried to do as much as I can with as much detail as I can to help the next person. Um, through this process though, I have discovered a lot of things and, and part of that is that this is some very rewarding uh, work. Um, I, I was talking with another boat builder friend that's getting close to the end of his project and um, it made me think back to when we put the first two sticks together uh, when we bent the ribs, when we cut down the tree, all of the things that have gone into this over the, over the past, uh, well, better than three years now. And um, it's, it's extremely rewarding. And so part of what I want to, to say today is if you are considering building a boat, a canoe, a kayak, uh, just a little skiff, anything that will get you out on the water, do it. The first, the first step is the biggest one. When you buy the plans or you go buy your first little bit of lumber or whatever it is, uh, just getting started is the hurdle. And I, I know that I'm guilty of this. I, I think of projects or things I want to do and I'll spend a lot of time watching YouTube or looking at plans or uh, thinking about it and all kinds of things. And sometimes I never, never take that next first step and I just never get it off the ground. I want to tell you, not only can you do it, but you will find this to be one of the most gratifying, one of the most satisfying things that you can do. In my regular occupation, I'm an insurance agent. I sit at my desk all day long. I talk on the phone. I stare at a computer. I push papers around. And from one day to the next, my office looks just the same. Completely different with this. From one day to the next, you can see some progress. You see what is that next thing you did. And there's an incredible amount of reward and satisfaction in changing reality, uh, creating, if you will. Um, and I, I am just in hopes that more people can find uh, that kind of satisfaction. I think it's wildly lacking in, in today's society in general I, with this with this uh, coronavirus thing that everybody's stuck in their house and I see so many people on Facebook or other social media that are like oh I'm so bored I've got nothing to do I got to keep going to work because I'm considered essential so I'm not taking a two-week uh, break from my office uh, but boy if I did I'd spend the whole time <laughs> working on the boats, I would not be bored at all. I, I could get so much done. And so I would just hope that other people can find that something else to do, that hobby, the craft, the, the boat building, whatever it is, um, and take that next step and, and start working on it. Uh, you'll never be sorry about it, you'll, and, and you'll find that you can develop a an appreciation, a love for doing something that's preoccupying, uh, it's mentally satisfying, I, I think it helps against depression. I, I suffer seasonal uh, 
effect disorder where the short, short daylight in the winter can really drag me down. This whole last winter, all I could think about was, well, it's cold outside, so I'm going to be in the shed working on the boat. And it carried me through it. So anyway, thank you for all the watches and the looks and the likes and the comments and for watching the channel and watching the progress of this boat. We're going to have a lot more coming uh, because I've got other projects in mind and with the new, with the new boat barn, uh, I'm going to have access to some more tools and bigger space and just a whole lot of an ability to, uh, to do some more things. So we're really excited about that. We're really looking forward to it. And uh, thanks for the support and for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. And stay tuned because we're gonna. There's another clip here where we'll go up to the shop and, and uh, see what kind of progress is going on there. We are in the new shop and uh, trying to get it set up, and there sure is a lot of space. Um, so it allows me to do some things that I haven't been able to do previously, and. One of those is setting up this miter saw. It's been sitting in a box down in the garage for a long time. I just didn't have, um, didn't have a place to put it. So I've been building this workbench and it's nothing really super special. I do have it on casters so I can move it around, which is nice because the back end of this thing, if you've got it too close up against the wall, you can't, you can't move that back like that. And uh, after watching some other people on YouTube, uh, in particular uh, April Wilkerson, um, she had some ideas about a workbench and I've stolen some of that. And then there was another fellow, and I'm sorry I can't remember his name, but I really like the idea of being able to have an additional surface here to hold your work while it's on the saw. And so I'm taking advantage of that and making some drawers. And so and I'm not any good at, at close joinery, but um, I basically just took plywood pieces and, and screwed them together. Oh, and I got a new tool. Yeah, this corner bracket brace. This thing's cool. And I got a new vacuum cleaner that I'm tripping over. So anyway, so... I used this and was able to uh, get some pretty good square corners with this and it's just plywood screwed together and then glued. Um, so a little bit of real thin Luan plywood on the bottom and the, I don't even have any like um, hardware or anything, they're just going to slide in like that. And so anyway this one here, I just got the top on it. And now I'm going to have to put some plywood underneath the, the feet here to bring the level up so that the whole thing's level. But I knew that going into it. And so you can see, though, that um, these doors work pretty good on there. So pretty happy about that. Um, we had the Harbor Freight workbench. And we've had that in here for a little while. I've got the other workbench. In fact, just come on over here with me, if you will. Um, come on. Got this other workbench that we've been working on, and this would be for the table saw. And also, you can sit in here and have your wife push you around the shop and go for rides. We did that. Anyway, so I've got that, I think, pretty well laid out for the DeWalt table saw. I know I'm going to have some issues with the the fence rail, so we'll have to cut out some places for the fence rail to go. But uh, we got the seats here varnished for the haven. So uh, anyway, got this bench pretty much ready to go. It's on casters too; it moves. And um, so anyway, it's starting to come together. Uh, finally, got the heating in, and. Um, Real happy about that. I, I, it's taken a little getting used to. It's a wood-fired boiler um, and pushes hot water through the floor through uh, circuits for radiant floor heat. So anyway, it was kind of cold the last couple of nights and finally got that up to temperature to where um, it was a little better than 70 degrees in here. So for the size of the space, um, Pretty happy about that. I guess that's it for now. 
We'll do some more as we get a little more organized. See you next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.